Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Indian School of Physics. Today I have come up with uh, another problem. It is from OPHO Online Physics Olympiad 2020. Name of the problem is Papu's half disk. By the way, he is not the same Papu we have in our uh, political system. It's a different Papu. Okay, so let's read the statement of uh, this problem. A solid half disk of mass M in the shape of a semicircle of radius r is kept at a kept at rest on a smooth horizontal table quillin starts applying a constant force of magnitude f at point a as shown parallel to its straight edge what is the initial linear uh, acceleration of point b so we have to answer uh, this in meter per second square all values are given so let's discuss the concept part of it it's a simple problem yet people make mistake in this so concept here is if line of action of force doesn't pass through the center of mass of a rigid body then the body will be in combined motion that means there is going to be some uh, linear acceleration to the center of mass and body will if body is free to rotate body will be rotating about an axis passing through the center of mass with some angular acceleration of alpha which i have shown here in the diagram so you can refer that part and this is the applied force its line of action is not passing through this uh, center of mass so it is uh, translating as well as it is rotating so let's apply this logic here so when i apply a force of f uh, center of mass of uh, disc is at 4 r by 3 pi so it will be here somewhere on the bisector of it so it will get some acm and due to torque it will get some angular acceleration of alpha in this direction so it's a very simple to write at the initial instant this uh, acm uh, value is going to be f by m and if we take torque about uh, center of mass by the way i will prefer taking torque about center of mass because i don't need to write uh, pseudo four comp uh, pseudo force here otherwise if i take torque about this point this is an accelerated point i need to apply uh, pseudo force here then i can write the correct answer so here that's a mistake normally students do they will prefer a point which is uh, accelerating and uh, uh, because of that they make that mistake because most of the students don't con consider pseudo force so here i think it's uh, very simple about center of mass if i take torque f into x and that is equal to ic into alpha where ic value i can say that is going to be io plus mx square where io is mr square by 2 and this x is uh, 4r by 3 pi so alpha value is also known to us acm is also known to us i'm not simplifying this part uh, i hope you can understand this so now let's see how exactly this uh, point b acceleration can be calculated so due to translation all points on the rigid body will have same acceleration in the previous problem also we had the similar type of uh, uh, discussion due to pr uh, translation part and uh, here due to rotation it's going to rotate like this with the alpha let's say this distance is uh, small r so small r we can write as a root of x square plus capital r square so at this point this acceleration is going to be small r alpha tangential acceleration is going to be small r alpha so now net acceleration at uh, of point b i can write acm plus r alpha sin theta i cap i can take components of r alpha sin theta and r alpha cos theta here plus r alpha cos theta j cap now alpha is known to us and uh, acm value is also known to us so here you can see this r sin theta directly i can write as x and uh, similarly r cos theta i can write it as capital r so my final answer here is going to be acm plus x alpha uh, i cap plus uh, capital r alpha j cap so this is going to be the acceleration of uh, uh, this point b now if i substitute uh, the values mm, here you can see uh, acm plus x alpha so x is 4 r by 3 pi alpha value which we have calculated here in the previous equation we can substitute and if you simplify a bit uh, we are going to get this i'm not doing the full calculation for this and also i'm not doing the numerical part of it where the values you have to substitute so a b uh, acceleration of b in y direction that was capital r alpha so r times uh, this alpha value we are going to substitute 
so once we know x component and y component we will know the total acceleration of uh, point b similarly we can do the calculation for all other uh, problems also so this is it i hope you can do the calculation part so this is it if you have enjoyed this uh, solution please leave a like it's a it's a very important application where many students make uh, mistake that's the reason i picked up this uh, video so if you haven't subscribed my channel please subscribe it i'll be coming up with another video very soon thank you